Hey everyone, just want to give you guys an update on Starfield. So I just finished Shattered Space DLC, the expansion pack, and I wanted to give my thoughts on it. And um, so finished all the quests, did everything, did two live streams of this. Um, I think it's better than the main game, meaning there's more stuff to do. But there's lots of little locations all around here. Just on this planet though, that's the only place it's on the expansion planet. Even though there's like 49 other planets around, it's not quite so densely populated. But the problem is the locations are, it's good that they're populated, but they're just repeat generated areas with nothing interesting in there. You know, whereas in main Starfield, you get one decent little pirate raid every now and then that one might turn into something different. Uh, this is not the case on this expansion. It's just like a whole bunch of lootable areas that don't really have anything of consequence. That's kind of a disappointment, but I am glad that they added more to the game and the graphics are very beautiful in this expansion. I was very pleased. Not a lot of guns got added though. That's kind of a letdown. Not a lot of outfits, just a few, but uh, it does look pretty, but the performance is not really great. Although that being said, um, I did have a good time with it. I had fun on stream with uh, some viewers and had a decent time and some people have been thinking about getting the game on sale because of this. And I would say if you can get it really cheap in about a year for like the gold edition or whatever they're going to call it. Yeah. Uh, would I pay full price for the expansion, which I paid $39.99 Canadian? Absolutely not. No. It's like five, six hours of content, maybe. Because you, you you run you get bored of locations pretty quickly. So yeah, that's pretty much it. The dialogue is exactly the same. Still boring. Still very bland. Very, very snore worthy. Newsworthy. Not a lot of an interest. The story still sucks. You know, Bethesda should focus on what they're good on, which would be exploration, um, sort of the the world around you, getting to know the world around you and all that. The small little side quests that you that you would experience in Skyrim, like the Dark Brotherhood quest line, um, the drinking quest line, you know, where you meet the guy in the bar, all this sort of random stuff and like the murders in, in uh, is that Winterhold? Or no, Windhelm. Yeah, like all that stuff is cool. In this, there isn't really anything. It's just factions and my, like empty areas, empty objectives. But back to the expansion, if they had done this for all the planets, like added a whole bunch of stuff to do, it would have been cool. I just wish they would have had more time to cook with this. The, the, like the performance doesn't feel great. The writing is not good. Um, Bethesda should not try their hand at writing or characters because they're really bad at it. Like I was falling asleep while people were talking and droning on. Like I was actually nodding off on stream. Like I actually woke myself awake once. I think there was like a good minute where the, nobody was talking and that's not good in a game, you know, where you're falling asleep to them talking because I played games like Dragon Age, uh, yeah, all, all, all sorts of other kind of games with like lots of talking. And this has never been a problem. It's just in this game, the NPCs, there's too much useless banter. I'm telling about, you know, very mind, like useless details that don't have anything to do with what you're working on. And it's just incredibly boring and bland and it's just not necessary really. Like, I like the idea of the Great Serpent and everything, and then in theory of the story, but practice is just not great. I don't know who okayed the expansion because it's pretty buggy. I also don't know who told them that we wanted, like, you know, a million lines of dialogue for each char character. Like, I would really love to find that out because it's just, it feels like it's too much. You know, like, I'll walk, I'll, someone will start talking, like, you know, I'm going to go walk to the room. I'll walk upstairs grab a glass of water and they'll still be talking you know it's like okay well um if players i'm probably not alone hopefully not if players zone out like that there is a clear disinterest in the story team and the writing team like did do they have no qa testers that tell this kind of thing or have all their testers and fans been kind of like they'll love anything that bethesda throws out like, I love Bethesda, uh, Skyrim and Fault 4, one of my favorite games. I play Fault 4 all the time. Like, I've got 3K hours in that game, even for its faults. The dialogue is not bad. Like, it's not bad as in it's going to put me to sleep and it's pointless. I just don't know. I don't know how to feel. Like, maybe give it more time and let it cook. And, you know, maybe uh, with some patches and mods, things will get better. Like, if someone had a dialogue mod that would speed it up by like 
0.025 or 0.50, it might help, but we shouldn't have to get a mod to make the game less tedious and to move the conversations along to the point where now I just skip everything. Like I just skip, 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 skip. I don't even care what they're saying anymore. I just want them to be done with it. And I got to that way at the end of the expansion in general, where I just wanted the story to be over because I just lost interest so far back, you know, and just totally checked out. I know a lot of other people on YouTube have been saying the same thing, kind of. But I just want to say my thoughts. Like, I finished the expansion. I wouldn't even call it an expansion, you guys. I'd call it, like, a small little DLC pack. Like, I would say, like, a quarter of Far Harbor. And that's being generous. And I love Far Harbor. Far Harbor is so much better than this. I don't know what went wrong. I don't know what's going wrong. Who went wrong where. What happens. What's going on in Bethesda right now. But... You know, this doesn't uh, feel like Bethesda magic. Yes, the game is beautiful. The characters are beautiful. The weapons, the textures, the lights, the lighting, everything in the surface level, it looks good. But when you actually like start playing longer hours, you know, the cracks really start to show and you can't just make a game based off good looks like it just won't, it won't hold up the game very long, you know? So I, I do understand those scores of 58 that this game, that the expansion has been getting. And um, yeah, I'm kind of sad to hear that if this game didn't have mods, honestly, guys, like I would have checked out probably the first two hours but because of so many gun mods and so many armor mods, character mods, you know, sluty mods to make your character look, uh, I don't know, more aesthetic to look at, I guess. Uh, sorry if I sound a coomer saying that, but it's uh, let me have 100 hours in this game. I actually did play the game for 30 hours the first time, beat the game, everything. Didn't get all the temples because it's a waste of time. You only need the one sky power, really. And uh, yeah, I just uh, uninstalled my game, checked out and came back for the expansion. And I don't know. I just feel like something's missing. I might wait a few more years for mods. Hope you guys uh, want to try it out. You wait for a sale if you want to, actually, but. There's honestly, there's so many better games out there. Like just get the Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Like it's so much, so, so, so much better. Even Mass Effect Andromeda is better. And that's, that's, that's saying a lot really. Um, yeah, not impressed. Didn't have a bad time, but it just could have been so much more. And I'm, uh, I'm a little nervous for Elder Scrolls 6. I know I shouldn't say that, but I wasn't nervous at first, but you know, because thinking, oh, well, this is a space game. Everything's supposed to be empty. You know, but, like, there's more problems than just exploration. Like, it's dialogue. The characters are really bad. The writing is bad. The gunplay is okay, but it just feels like we're stuck 10 years in the past. You know, like, we haven't learned from our mistakes. We haven't listened to the, to the right fans. Like, they're probably just listening to, like, their fanboys and fangirls that, you know, will eat up anything they give to them. They need to listen to the people that are actually reviewing it, the people that are playing it. They should look at the Steam reviews. That They might actually get a good insight for Elder Scrolls 6. Because they look like I, IGN and, you know, whatever PC gamer. You know, like, those are always going to be biased no matter what. So they sh should actually just um, listen to some good critique and move forward with that for Elder Scrolls 6. Because that's what I'm moving forward to now.